Hi, I'm Ruthie from the Center of Makeup Artistry and Design. We're getting ready for Vegas and recreating looks for the iHeartRadio Music Festival lineup. Today we'll be recreating Brendan Urie's look from the I Write Sins Not Tragedies music video. This is Face to Face, iHeartRadio Music Festival edition. So the skin is already prepped and set. We're gonna start off with our guy liner. So I'm going to prep the eyelids with a colorless base. That way while you're jamming at the festival, your eye makeup's not gonna be running all over the place. I'm gonna take a firm synthetic brush and just look down for me. A light, even coat from the lash line all the way to the brow bone. Because this is colorless, you don't have to worry about it affecting your overall makeup look. You do have a couple of moments before this product dries, so you wanna work quickly by smoothing it out. Sometimes, if I'm working in really, really warm climates, I'll put two coats of this on. So I'm gonna go ahead and just beef it up with another coat. And after this sets, it's going to lock your eyeshadow in place and your eyeliner. That way you can sweat and dance all day long. All right, now we're going to move on to our eye look. So for this look, it's a lot about browns, mattes, and even blended texture. I'm going to start off with a fluffy brush and a matte brown eyeshadow. And I'm going to sweep this all across the lash line. By using a fluffy brush, you're going to prevent from a lot of streaking and depositing patches on your eye makeup. We do want the focus to be more of the lash base rather than the entire eyelid, but we want to create this mysterious darkness to the lash line. Because you're going to be walking around with your eyes open, definitely check your makeup with the eyes open the majority of the time. This color is not as dramatic as a black, so it's okay to go close to the eyebrow. You don't have to worry about it looking too scary. Because we put that primer on to begin with, you'll notice that the shadow deposited very, very evenly across the eyelid. I'm gonna add just a little bit more to this eye, as I can tell that this one's a little lighter than the other. Now we're gonna move on to buffing out our eyeliner. I'm going to be using a very, very creamy brown eyeliner pencil. Freshly sharpened, I'm going to have him close his eyes. Starting with the side of the eyeliner, we're gonna drag it as close to the lash base as possible. I like to press the liner down and do small dash marks to prevent from a thick, unstable line. Now, taking a pencil brush, I'm going to just buff this into the shadow. You don't have to fight with this liner too much because it is so creamy. Now, most of the time when you're wearing a creamy eyeliner during the day, most people are afraid of that, but we applied two layers of the base down, so we shouldn't have any melting issues later. Now you're gonna look down but not close your eye. That's gonna relax the entire lash base so I can make sure that the tip of the pencil will get into any missing areas. Let's look straight to see how that dramatically impacted the look so far. We're gonna level it out now. I'm gonna move on to the other eye. Go ahead and look down for me. Again, taking the side of the pencil, dragging it as close to the lash base as possible. All right, after we have blended out our pencil liner, I'm going to take a very, very small blending brush with a lighter color brown eyeshadow. It doesn't really matter what type of color brown that you're using, it's just important that it's lighter than the one that you previously used. By using a lighter color, you will make sure that you're blending the product out rather than creating depth. I like to start with darker colors and then work with lighter tones on top. And look straight. Great. Because this pencil brush is a little bit smaller than the actual space, I don't have to worry about it interfering with the brow. Now we're gonna move on to the under eye area. So, starting with the pencil, you can either take a freshly sharpened pencil and go directly onto the skin. Go ahead and look all the way up for me. You wanna make sure that you're going right at the lash root opposed to inside of the eye. And I'm just lightly going straight in between the lashes. And look straight. Great. When you're looking straight, connect the upper to the lower lash line with your pencil. Then take your blending brush and smudge it out. 
Q-tips are great to keep nearby. They're like extra fingers and they can help you smudge out shapes or unnecessary areas of darkness. Now I'm gonna take a darker brown eyeshadow with the same blending brush and we're going to set the pencil on the bottom. By applying a powder eyeshadow on top of a pencil, you will create a longer lasting life with that pencil. Look all the way up for me. You're also gonna create a little bit more of a smoky effect, which is right up our alley for today. Remember guys, this doesn't need to look perfect, but you should have pencil all the way around the entire corner of the eye. Great. All right, now, we do want to darken that eyebrow a little bit, so I'm using an angle brush with a matte brown eyeshadow and just filling in wherever I have some sparse patches in the brow. You're going to use feathering motions inside of the brow shape. We don't want to change the brow shape, we just want it to look fuller and more complete. You'll notice that I'm mostly applying this towards the arch of the brow because he has great beginning hair volume. Next, I'm gonna take a skin tone colored eyeshadow and just blend that right underneath that brow bone to lock the base in. We're gonna complete the eyes with a light coat of mascara on the upper lash line only. So I'm just gonna turn the cheek. Go ahead and look down for me. Sometimes when you're applying your upper lash mascara, you're able to see if you have any areas where the liner did not hit the lash base enough. So feel free to go back in with your pencil, looking down, and lightly press the pencil all the way into the mascara. This will prevent any visible skin showing, which will make the eye look a little bit incomplete. Look straight for me, great. So I'm just lightly dragging this in any areas where I still can see skin tone. We should see a chocolate line all the way across the lash base. Perfect. Now the lip. Because we're not gonna do a lipstick per se, we do wanna have a little bit of color still coming through. Now Brendan's lip is quite full, so we wanna emulate that same shape and texture by putting a slightly peachy type of tone on the center of the lip. So I'm going to use a long wearing lip and cheek hue. I'm going to use a fluffy brush because I don't want the lip to look painted on. I just wanna have a little bit of color still shining through. And I like to use my hand to load the product up on the brush so that I don't apply too much. So I'm gonna have you lightly separate your lip. Great. And you'll see me lightly buff this across the lip. You don't need to make the lip shape super perfected because we still wanna bring a little bit of masculinity to this look. No. Any areas where you might have messed up your complexion base, just smooth that out. I'm not applying any additional product, I'm just using the residue that's left on the brush. And let's take a peek. I think you're ready. Now that you've completed the lip, you don't need to panic because you're going to look amazing at the iHeartRadio Music Festival. Thanks for watching. Make sure to subscribe for more videos from your favorite artist. And while you're here, check out these other videos.